All right, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're talking about Escape from Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov is a is a pretty interesting game. It's pretty fun. Uh, I have not played it that much, but it's it's not too bad from what I've heard. Uh, I have heard that it gets quite ex expensive if you want to buy the special editions or DLCs. Uh, so that's kind of why I haven't played it. It's because I don't really want to spend that much money on a game. Um, and recently, they've got into some hot water, which is unfortunate because a lot of people liked playing this game, and it seems like a lot of people are not going to like playing this game anymore because of this. Uh, the The main issue is there's an edition of the game that you buy, and you get all future DLCs. On their own website, it states all future DLCs you get basically and so the problem is they just came out with a hundred and fifty dollar dlc which they're saying is not a dlc they they've staunchly defended this for some reason and said no this isn't a dlc and the reason they're doing that is because they want people to pay 150 dollars for this extra piece of content which is super frustrating because people already paid a lot of money for the game uh, the special edition of the game no less to where they would get all future dlcs like the season pass and so now they're not able to get this new big dlc that they were promised essentially because the company decided not to call it a dlc even though that's exactly what it is it's a dlc they just want people to pay them more money and that's a big problem uh, not only is a $150 DLC sound absolutely insane to me, even if the even if this wasn't an issue and you were able to just get this DLC for free by having that special edition of the game, $150 is a fuck ton of money for a game, no less a, a DLC for a game. That seems absolutely ridiculous. I know there's some games that you have to spend a ton of money on, or you don't have to, but you could. Like, um, what is that? Star Citizen or whatever that game is. That's still in, like, development, basically. And then you can spend, like, thousands and thousands of dollars on it. That's a whole nother deal. But, um, God. To spend that much money on a game, on a special edition of a game, and still not get access to DLCs, even though it's promised, would, would make me so upset. It would just make me not want to play anymore. That that's that's fucking so annoying. And so it seems like they've kind of backpedaled a little bit on this. It seems like they're going to change their mind and they're going to allow the players that have the special edition to get the DLC that was released, which should have been done bare minimum anyways, but it looks like they're finally doing it, which is good to see it doesn't fix the problems because they already happened it already showed their hand they already fucked up big time and made a big mistake by doing this because now everybody's pissed at them but uh yeah it's it's interesting to say the least i know that i will not be playing escape from tarkov because of this whole debacle because of this whole annoying situation i just it, 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 I'll call it a boycott, why not? But in reality, it's just I haven't played it before. And this this annoying thing happens where the developers seem, or the, the runners of the game at least, seem like they're super annoying and out of touch and, and trying to just take money from people. So I just don't think I'll be participating in, uh, in the game in that way. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty short one today. I just wanted to talk about that situation just because it seems so so bizarre to me how companies can just shoot themselves in the foot so easily and, and feel like nothing's wrong the same thing happened with watcher where this wasn't as greedy granted uh but they 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 decided to do their own subscription and put all their videos behind a paywall and and people were super pissed and so they backpedal on that because they they realized that now they're they're alienating their whole audience basically and so just how these these companies can can completely commit you know business suicide is 
is crazy to me. Like, don't they have anybody that can tell them, like, hey, this is a bad idea. You probably shouldn't do this. I, I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. All right. Bye.